Tonight, there is still no deal from Capitol Hill on additional aid funding for Israel and Ukraine. But there is action on the Republican campaign trail. A new CBS poll shows Donald Trump remains the leading Republican presidential nominee in both Iowa and New Hampshire. But former Ambassador Nikki Haley has emerged as the top alternative in the Granite State. CBS's Skylar Henry is in Washington with more on our polling and what it actually means. Skylar. Hey, Jerika, good to see you. Well, that poll also shows that Republican voters in New Hampshire find Haley to be more likable and reasonable than the other candidates, including the former president. But he's still far and away who many think would beat President Biden and get back to the White House. Republican voters are showing they're standing behind former President Donald Trump. New CBS News polling shows his commanding lead, as likely caucus goers in Iowa find him to be a strong leader. In New Hampshire, he's also out in front, but is drawing criticism from President Biden and even fellow Republicans following his comments on immigrants at a rally there on Saturday. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world, not just in South America, not just the three or four countries that we think about, but all over the world. I don't know how you could take someone like that and say that they're fit to be president of the United States. The White House said the comments echo the grotesque rhetoric of fascists and violent white supremacists. The controversy comes as a border deal and Congress hangs in the balance. Republicans are demanding sweeping new policies at the U.S. southern border before signing off on a bigger package that include funding for both Ukraine and Israel to help in their respective wars. I know Senator Schumer thinks there's going to be some deal cut behind closed doors and then jam it through the Senate and then jam the House. That's not going to happen. Um, but we are making some progress. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas joined a bipartisan group of negotiators at the Capitol, working through the weekend to find common ground on an agreement that could see sweeping changes to the immigration system. I think we're going to see something next week and we'll stay there until we get it done. House lawmakers have already left for the year. Senate Democrats want to vote on the aid deal before the holidays, but Republicans say there are significant issues still under discussion. Jerika. Skylar Henry in Washington, thank you.